Well, I'm in Boulder City, 20 minutes away from sunny Las Vegas, <laughs> and I'm at Goat Feathers Emporium. Yep, Goat Feathers. It's an antique mall. Look, shabby chic. Very cool. Look at those doors. Isn't that a beautiful entrance? Look at that. That's just the entrance. I wonder, I wonder if that's naturally weathered or if somebody did that. That's beautiful. Painted it and then chipped it off. Let's see what they got. And what do I spot immediately when I come in? My favorite things, the Staffordshire dogs. The Staffordshire porcelain dogs. King Charles Spaniel, one of my favorite dogs. Oh my God, $285. Remember I saw those at Lynn's Emporium in Las Vegas. The consignment store, look at those dogs. I love those dogs. I'm looking for stuff to flip though on eBay and that's that's how much they're gonna be on eBay, two eighty five. So I say I'm gonna leave those behind. Unfortunately, those are really those are do you like those? I love them. Let's move on though. Oh my god, there's so much to see. There's so much to see. Look at the brooches. Blue Bus Dave in Pennsylvania buys the brooches and put them puts them on eBay. He buys so many brooches. These are beautiful. Wait, maybe. maybe. Really Wait. beautiful. Let's see what else they got. This is, this is a cool booth. This is a really cool booth. I bet those are all Royal Dalton. Look, there's another Staffordshire dog. I haven't seen these Staffordshire dogs in, in this mall before. It says $65. That's a really, really good price. Look at that. What? $65? Can't be. That's a huge dog. It's beautiful. I'm going to think about this one. I'm going to think about buying that one today. I love it. Be careful with these. I think they're real. I'm not even going to touch it. Be careful of the chips and cracks on those mugs. Royal Dalton. We got a lot of gorgeous stuff here. Look at this little planter. Look at this little schnauzer planter. Royal Copley, $18. Oh my god, that's so cute. See, I want to pay like five. And that's going to be impossible. You know what I mean? That's going to be really hard to to work them down to that price. But that's what I want to pay. Here's some art glass. There's those bubbles, Bulacante. The bubbles. I wonder if that's Murano. Paperweight, nineteen dollars. That is really beautiful. Wow. Wowie zowie. I know I say wow a lot. Chanel, a little bottle of Chanel number no. five. The problem with that is, how do you authenticate it? Because there's knockoff Chanel, you know? So you gotta be really careful. You gotta be really careful with those things. What is this? Celluloid box. What is celluloid? Is it, it's a plastic. They're pretty. Are they collectible? You tell me. I, I don't know. I'm not familiar with the celluloid. What else? But if you see something here you like, let me know. Look, they're all figurines. Look. All women. Isn't that beautiful? Look at them. $40. They're all $40. What is this? Fenton Ruby Elephant. That's 28. Oh, it had a sticker on the bottom. I don't much care for th things with barcodes on the bottom, do you? I, I don't know. It still could be vintage, but 
I don't know. I'd have to look it up. I'm looking for stuff, you know, art glass, um, majolica pottery. Look at this gorgeous thing. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at the color. Murano pinch pot, 15. You know what? That's a good. That's a good price. That is really. That is gorgeous. Look at the colors in there. Look how they do that. I just love that. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna leave it here for a second. I'll come back around and get it. Look at these. Look at these beautiful candle holders. For the pair, $24 for the pair. That's a good price too. That's a really good price. Those are gorgeous. Those are Cambridge candlesticks. Those are really pretty. Don't you think? Wouldn't you buy those? Here's a Fenton. Silver crest, tall, square, compote. $55. Look. And she's got something in there. She's got this thing sitting in there, this vase, sitting right in the Fenton. Can you believe that? I don't know if that's the best way to show off a piece. But that's okay. What is that? Look at this. This is beautiful too, this paperweight. Is that Mirana also? She's got it marked at $24, but it, it's got a jellyfish inside. Mm, it's gorgeous too. Don't you love those? Those are so beautiful. I'm seriously considering those right there and, the, and this beautiful little pinch pot. I'm going to seriously consider. And here's some more perfume. And Klein, $15. Wind song, that's vintage. She wants 19 for that. I was here a long time ago. She had lots of perfumes, white shoulders. I have a collection of perfumes. I don't know how many I have, over 100. Here's a pretty bottle. Some people collect perfume bottles. I don't really. I collect the perfume. It has to have perfume in it for me to really be interested. So. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. This is really pretty. Look. Look at this perfume bottle. Look at that stopper. Gorgeous. I wonder. I don't see um just really something if you're gonna buy a perfume bottle. I think that would be the one to get. Okay. Let's go. What is, what is this? I don't like touching stuff in antique malls. Do you? Do you like really touching stuff? I don't want to break anything. <gasps> Heidi Shoop. Oh my God, Heidi <coughs> Shoop. I can't believe I found another Heidi Shoop. Remember from my estate sale video? I found one and I overlooked it. I couldn't uh, pronounce the name and then I looked it up at home and it was... Hetty Shoop from Hollywood. She makes these. This is $25. Hetty Shoop. Look it up. Look it up. Let's see what else they have. This looks like a Sharpay. Crystal Dog, $14, but it's good. It's good for a Sharpay owner, that's for sure. Look at this beautiful trinket box. It's got a number on it. See, without a name on the bottom, you, you, you would have to be a PhD to know who made this. You'd have to have a PhD. It's porcelain hinged dresser box, $21, but it's really pretty. Very beautiful, look at that, dainty. I'm sure you know what this design is. It's Wedgwood, Wedgwood. Wedgwood has got its place in time, you know. It's really got its niche, Wedgwood. Very lovely stuff. I don't collect Wedgwood, um, do you? I know a lot of people do. Yeah, this whole thing is Wedgwood, look. 
This whole thing is Wedgwood. This whole cabinet right here, shelf. Now here's something interesting. Hand-painted shaker. $16. That looks old. Well, I'm only just on one booth. I just, I'm just in one booth so far in this whole place. This whole place is huge. There's an upstairs, too. But I'm still just in one booth. Can you believe it? Look at this beautiful hand-painted floral lamp. Exquisite. So, so beautiful. Look at that. I turn glass over to look for the pontal on the bottom. Amberina glass vase, twenty dollars. I think Amberinda is Amberinda is collectible. Prices, you know, that's it's hard. You have to find stuff that's half off if you really want to do well in antique malls. Look at these ladies. Here's some more paperweights. This is twelve dollars. They're gorgeous. The colors are just so beautiful on these paperweights. Look at it. I don't know how they do that. Each one is prettier than the next. Look. With the bubbles, that could be Murano. The bubbles um, are called Bulacante. Isn't isn't that interesting? I I looked it up. You learn something every day, don't you? What is this one? It's got two fish inside. That is really cute too. <laughs> I don't think those are real fish. It's adorable. These are all hand handmade. Let's go to another booth. This glass fish is $32. It's an angel fish. It's very pretty. But it's a little bit too high priced for me. And here's a dolphin. They want $12.95. Blown glass dolphin. Do that. I still don't know how they do that. Look at this booth. This is really cool. I spot a green lamp over there and some other lamps that are really beautiful. Let's take a look. It's a real pretty emerald green color, $185. beautiful color but this is something I really like here's another one of those another one of those lamps here's another one of those lamps with the roses painted on there if you like you have to like these certain this certain style like I do it's just so feminine and beautiful. I'm not exactly sure what you call those. I'm sure you know. And I don't see a tag there. I don't see a tag anywhere. On it, which is kind of strange. And I love these mantle clocks. They want $300. Wow is right. Wow. For that mantle clock. Those are really statuesque and very beautiful. Very, very glamorous. Old. Very nice. 
Oh, that's an interesting clock. Look at that. Beautiful. See how much it is. Seven fifty. Seven hundred and fifty. That's gorgeous. Look at that. It's got the glass too. That's good. It's really pretty. Here's a beautiful teapot. Marked at thirty-five. Top is taped. There's no marking on the bottom. But that's really I love the baby blue. Here's a booth. Oh my gosh, look at those. Those are Dresden. 300 candelabra. Candelabra. That is, that's in the case. I can't touch that. That is absolutely gorgeous. There's two pieces. This is a nice booth, too. The pulpit vase. Opalescent. 29. I am going to pick this up. I want to get a clear view of this. Look at the color, opalescent. That is spectacular. I love that. Don't you love that? Beautiful color. 29 is a little bit too steep for me. So I'm going to leave it behind. Gold trim. Bon Bon Nippon. It's from $18 to $10. I just don't know how that would resell on eBay. It's really, really beautiful hand painted. Nippon. Look at the colors. The violets. Those are beautiful. And if you want it for yourself, you know, $10 is a good price. Look at her. Here's a planter, you know, um, these are very collectible. A lot of people buy these and want these and buy them on eBay. This says $25, I guess. Not $2.50. It was two, if it was $2.50, I would take it. It's cute. It's a baby with a planter. Here's another planter. This is $6. Boy and Girl, USA, 1950s. Look at this. It's not marked on the bottom, but it's really cute. And there's for the little plant. Those are very collectible right now. People are buying those. So don't overlook those, you know. Here's more Wedgwood. Is this Fenton here? And look, why did they ruin it with other stuff that's meaningless. This is so beautiful, pre-1940. Old Fenton Peach Crest Bowl. Look at that. 48, they want for it. 48. I haven't seen um, that color. I've seen the white one, the silver crest, and the blue edge, but I haven't seen this particular style. It's very nice. Let me put it back. I'm looking for stuff to flip on eBay, so, you know, I need good prices, you know what I mean? Germany Berry Bowl. She wants 30, from 50 to 30. Yeah. It's very, very, very delicate and very beautiful. Look at this with the plate. Very nice. And what is this? These are so cool. Japan, floral, handled, fluted. $14. It's really pretty, don't you think? Look at the beautiful painting inside and the handles. That's really kind of one of a kind. 
I think I'm going to go back and get those blue candle holders with the hanging prisms and the um, pinched art glass. If it's not gone already. Look how well lit this booth is. These are all trinket boxes. Huge collection of trinket boxes. Let's see how much they want for them. $22. But aren't these made in China? Aren't these made in China? These are really pretty, and I don't know if they're collectible, but aren't they made in China? They're, look at their gorgeous. Look. Look at the peacock. $44. Whoa! You break your buy, Gail. You break your buy. It's marked on the bottom. Made in China. I'm not sure about... They're all real pretty, if you like. And I'm sure a lot of people do collect these. But I don't. Trinket boxes, they're all really, really nice. Here's a couple of frogs that are really cute. Look. Here's more. Here's more. This is the largest collection of trinket dishes um, I've ever seen. This is a trinket dish gold mine here. I hit the trinket dish jackpot. Look at these. and I think they're all from China but these are the most beautiful trinket boxes that I think I've ever seen and on that note ladies and gentlemen of the jury as Elvis says thank you very much and my time with you the last half hour has been very nice here at Goat Feathers which one would you would you buy if you were here in, in Boulder City, 20 minutes outside of Las Vegas, and, and you had to get a gift for somebody? Which one would you pick? Look at the penguins. All right, thanks so much for watching. I don't know, this is... Look at the salt and pepper shakers. Okay, bye. Wait a second. Look, look at these are cardinals. Cardinals. I'm from St. Louis. Those would be perfect for me. St. Louis cardinals, remember? I think now they're the Arizona cardinals, but I love those. Let me see how much those are. I know I said goodbye. The set is $8.95. That's actually really good. Well, look what I just found. Look what I just found salt and pepper in pristine condition. Wow. Love those. This whole thing is salt and pepper. This whole thing is salt and pepper. Shakers. This whole... Wow. Can't believe it. Can't believe what I'm seeing. Can't believe what I just found and I have to say goodbye.
Which one is your favorite? Which one would you buy if you were here? Which one would you? I'm going to show you my favorite. Right here, the peacock. I love peacocks. Okay, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Or would you pick the elephants? I know a lot of people collect frogs, you know. A lot. I don't, but I know there's a lot of people who do it. And if I was going to get the frogs, I would get this one right here because this is just unbelievably outstanding. This isn't even a trinket box. Look, I don't even know what this is. Just a, a, a bric-a-brac, 1895. It's so cute. They're sitting on a lily pad. Okay, bye.